Okay, so now we're all done with the Sylph Cave and Summon Monster Cave side quest, we can proceed with the main story mission in the Sealed Cave. But uh, before we do that, let's go back to a town and uh, provision up, get some more items and uh, sell any old items that we no longer need for uh, money. Okay, let's see. I always like to have at least 10 of uh, each thing. Okay, let's sell some uh, weapons. Don't need any of this stuff. Okay, let's see what we can buy. Let's uh, let's top up our uh, Phoenix Downs a bit. By about 50 high potions. Yeah, let's get more of those. More cottages, more remedies. Okay, and then the last thing we should stay at the inn and replenish our HP and uh, MP. All set. Okay, here we go. Now just get in your airship and go a little bit northwest and right here basically. That is the location of the sealed cave. So go up to the door and we're going to use uh, Luca's necklace. Open the door. The enemies in here are not very difficult at all. This evil bat and uh, Miss Vamp you can use fire based attacks on, uh, on these guys. The bats don't have much HP at all. taken out. Now there'll be a little rope here we can go down. This dungeon is full of trap doors. See if you try to open a door you'll have to fight a, uh, a monster. You want to take these guys out as quickly as possible. See how it's locking onto one of us? If you wait too long it's going to use a one hit kill on your party member and then obviously you'll have to cast life or use a phoenix down to get them back so try to take these guys out as quickly as possible now I'm going to be opening every door because those trap doors give very good experience points obviously I know from maps and such which uh, which doors in the dungeon lead to treasures and which just lead to empty rooms, but I would recommend fighting every trap door just because they give good experience and that's going to allow our guys to level up and make life easier for us as we go on in the game. There's 
the treasure down here. Bestiary. King Naga, these guys are not too uh, difficult. rope will take us up. Let's see, is there any treasure behind this? No, it doesn't look like it. Nope. Okay. Trap doors at this point in the game, we don't even need a uh, summon magic to uh, to kill them. Couple couple attacks from Edge, a jump attack from uh, from Kane, attack from Cecil. That's all she wrote. See, got a couple level ups. Those guys give nice, nice experience. level ups empty now that's something uh if you've played all final fantasy games or the, the early ones anyways that's something that was annoying about final fantasy 2 was uh, there were a lot of uh, empty rooms in the dungeons i think i remember there was one dungeon there's 14 doors, 12 of them led to empty rooms, and only two led to uh, actual treasure. Like I said, we're just doing that for the experience points. And so we're going to go down first, get that treasure over there. Quite a uh, setup of trapdoors up here. Gonna take them all out. an actual treasure wow light sword okay that's for Cecil oh but it's not better than what he has already so we won't equip him with that what we can do is we can save that for the next boss fight and have edge throw that uh, to deal big damage actual treasure too. Let's 
Puma Shuriken. Okay, Elixir. So, another thing for Edge to throw. up a bit. Anyone tired of these guys yet? <laughs> Actually not dangerous at all. I mean if you're if you're fast, like I said, if you're if you're slow, then they get their their one hit kill away. But uh, uh, we can take these guys out quickly. All right, Rosa learned full life. That's that's very useful. Brings someone back to life with uh, with full HP. That rope just leads to a uh, dead end. <laughs> so we'll ignore that. save point. I don't think we've uh, worn ourselves down enough to warrant using a, a cottage, but I'm going to save the game anyway. Getting close to cracking the uh, 2000 uh, HP barrier. Speaking of Edge, there's a couple items for him. Sword isn't better than what he has, but the uh, the helmet is an upgrade in, in terms of defense. So I'm gonna I'm gonna equip him with that. Six evil bats. The blood feast is a little bit annoying, but it does very, very uh, low uh, amounts of damage. <laughs> One. Yeah, one. That's great. Okay, twenty-three. Mm. See what Bio does. Not bad. Two. down here. Yet another uh, trap door. Ether. 
Okay, a couple of treasures down here. Oh, more, more baths and uh, and bad ladies. Okay, let's uh, let's take them out. Behind this door. I remember in the Super Nintendo version, I would you have to use like a Titan summon on these guys to to, uh, to take them out. But <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe in this one, I've I've leveled up more. Oh, another empty room. Okay. Here. Still haven't found any armor for Edge. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but in my inventory screen. Edge is not equipped with armor, that's why he takes such a, such a high amount of damage. <clears throat> and like I mentioned before, both Cecil and Kane have shields equipped, whether as Edge has dual swords. Uh, yet another trap door. Oh, he's experienced anyways. He's been too fast. So far they haven't gotten a chance to get their one hit kill shot on us. Empty room. Nothing to see here. Now. That may look like it leads to a dead end, that rope, but... Oh, 3D trickery, wow, okay. Yet another trapdoor. Oh, nice, Ridia Learn Thundaga. That'll come in handy when we uh, try to get the Odin summon a little bit later. Want to take out that Chimera because its blaze will do uh, big, big, big damage. Gear up.
Okay, now, with this save point, we've got a boss battle coming up, so let's uh, use a cottage, heal up all our HP and MP, and of course save the game. Now this room, there's no treasure, there's a couple of ropes that lead to nothing. And we've got one more trap door to go. Nice, Cecil has cracked the 3000 HP threshold. Okay, so go grab your Dark Crystal. And uh, as we attempt to walk out, didn't think it would be that easy, did it? The walls, they're moving. Moving the crystal must have set off a trap. Okay, so you want to kill this guy as quickly as possible, this demon wall. It's going to inch towards you. And if it gets really close, then it's going to start using a one-hit kill. So you want to take this guy out before he can start using his one-hit kill. So I'm going to use a Baku Cider on Cecil. That'll put him in Berserk mode. He's just going to constantly attack. Rydia is going to spam uh, Leviathan. Edge can throw whatever uh, swords you have for big damage. Have Rosa slow down the uh, wall. That'll slow down his speed. And of course have Kane jump. Now let's give the uh, enemy a fighting chance. There, I cured him. <laughs> no, that that was a mistake. I I messed up on the uh, the touch screen. I'm playing the Android version that has a touch screen control. Even with me curing the boss, this guy's not gonna pose any uh, any difficulty. That uh, side quest to the Summon Monsters cave came in handy. Tsunami is very, very useful in boss battle. And there we go. Got him uh, before he could uh, start using his uh, one-hit kill cheapness. All right. Nothing to it. Now, one thing you'll notice if you try to teleport out, you'll notice you can't use teleport. Now, that means that there's some kind of story sequence uh, later on that they don't want you to skip out by just teleporting out. So, 
Unfortunately, we're going to have to fight our way back to the uh, entrance. Although we can get some more uh, experience. Save. Depending on how much wear you suffered uh, during the demon wall battle, you may or may not want to use a cottage. I'm not going to. the rope. Nice thing is all the demon walls, uh, or the, the, the trap doors I should say, all stay defeated, so we're gonna have to go through them. Evil bats. Yeah, that's good. Just keep throwing those evil bats at us. Guys are uh, nothing. King Nagas, again, no problem. I almost prefer this style of game better than, uh, FF1 or FF3 or FF5 for that matter where you choose your party's classes like this one you just They just throw you a set of, of guys and you you have to make do with them sometimes your party is very Fighting heavy sometimes like when you're at Masida and you get to Tella and uh, Palom and Poram then you have a very magic heavy group and you have to make do with that has crossed the 2000 HP threshold. This is the uh, last uh, floor. So gotta go down this rope and then up another rope and then we're at the entrance. More evil bats, okay, we'll take that. What's going on? Kane, you belong to me. Bring me the crystal. Golbez. Golbez is trying to control Kane remotely again. I'm no longer under his control. Oh, the dark crystal was seized. Well, I guess, <laughs> I guess you are still under his control. Kane, wake up. With all the crystals in our possession, the way to the moon will open. Oh. See, that was the, uh, 
the sequence that they didn't want us to skip out by using teleport. And you can see now the Tower of Babel has been activated. Okay, so now we gotta go back and tell the Dwarf King the bad news that we lost the last crystal. And this is also a good time to, uh, to stop. We're at the 30 minute mark, so save up your game. Remember to like and subscribe everyone. And I will see you in the next episode.